Hello and welcome back to my playthrough of Pokemon Silver. In the last episode we got stuck in Goldenrod City on the underground because we couldn't work out one of the puzzles and then we gave up and it was a bit embarrassing because we spent like 15 minutes on the same little bit trying to work out what the puzzle was. But anyway, and then we went to a bug catching contest and did that. But yeah, so we're sorting out the rocket infestation in Goldenrod City and... Before, obviously before, we're gonna we're obviously gonna continue with that this episode, but before we do that, we've gotta to listen to what Chad has to say. It's me, Chad and Nizer, wanna battle? I'm not gonna be a repeat of the last time we met, I'll be around Route 38. Well we'll probably do that at some point, but what we do need to do is we need to go back in here, the underground path. And then we need to go over to here. And now we need to sort out this issue here. And so, I blame this guy, because this guy like this guy here, who says, I'm confused, the switch on the end is the one to press first. I assumed he meant this end. It was wrong. It's this one. Hit that one. Hit that one. Hit that one. Du -du 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 -du. There you go. Easy peasy. What on earth was I bothering with all my life doing? So, anyway. <laughs> So we finally did that. Oh, and right at the end of the last episode, we evolved Gloom into Bellossom, and that was a cool little thing. Anyway, this person, are you lost? No, you can't be. You don't have that scared look. I'll give you something to be scared about. Says Rocket Grunt, who's got a Gloom. Face my flamethrower. Love a Gloom. Okay, so Volpix takes out that. How could you, she says. Go wherever you like. Get lost. See if I care. And we can exit, and suddenly we're back in the building. Now, um, just so you know, a few little things. I taught uh, Vulpix. I taught Vulpix Iron Tail, and I taught for Alligator Whirlpool because we'll need Whirlpool as a uh, TM move, uh, HM move. Sorry. Anyway, we're gonna now continue through. We're not gonna get any farther. I showed my enemies, not even brats. This guy's got to eradicate. Uh, And Vulpix is up to level 33, which is pretty good. And we've got a uh, Sudowoodo for Rock Slide. Well, of course, I hurt myself in confusion. But there we go, Rock Slide takes out the goal that Rocket Grunt was defeated. Blasted, he says. I lost. Please forgive me, Giovanni. There's a Max Ether there. Then this guy. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I remember you. You got me good at our hideout. So, this guy's got a Grimer. I uh, will take him out. And then he's got a Weezing. And we'll take him... Well, I thought we'd take him out there, but now we do. Okay. Chuk, chuk, chuk. So that's now. Chuk, chuk, chuk. That was a blast. I'll remember you. And we've also got this guy. How did you get this far? I guess I can't be helped. I'll dispose of you. You see that. You go out of coughing. Uh, let me see what Iron Tail, Iron Tail misses. Of course, first time I use Iron Tail, and it misses. Isn't that just like, you know... A nice optimistic start. Anyway, fly for a couple of. Okay, well, use a self destruct because. And use a self destruct again, but I managed to pull through just about. Team Rocket will keep going, waiting for the return of Giovanni. We'll do whatever it takes. We've got TM35, which is. Uh, TM35 is Sleep Talk. And then we've got Director Who? What? You came to rescue me? Thank you! Radio Tower! What's happening there? Taken over by Team Rocket? Here, take this card key. Use that to open the shutters on third floor. I'm begging you to help. There's no telling what they'll do if they control the transmitter. They, even, they may even be able to control Pokemon using a special signal. You're the only one I can call on. Please save the Radio Tower and all the Pokemon nationwide! Yeah, okay. Ooh, well, we'll do our best, mister. So. And here we get an amulet coin, which... Uh, an amulet coin, what does that do? An item to hold and doubles monetary earnings, okay. Okay, so we're back at the, uh... In the basement of, um, the, uh... Of the Goldenrod, uh... Goldenrod, uh, big mart thing. Can't remember what it's called. Department store. That's it. So obviously we can come back out. We're now going to head over to here. We're going to climb up to the third floor. And we'll go through here. It's the card key slot. We insert the card key and now let's get... Why did the shutter open? Did you have something to do with this? 
says Rocket Grunt, who's also got Eradicate, Sleep Powder, and then we use. I'll just use. I know Acid is no longer a stab attack, but that's okay. Blossom Growth level 35. And he's also got a coughing. We use Sleep Powder. There we go. And we'll now use. He's poison. Still don't have anything super effective against poison. But Rock Slide is nice and strong. Strength takes out the coughing. Sudo Wudo gains some more things. He goes, I'm done for. What? You made it past our men in the underground? How could you? Pretty simply, to be honest. And now, 4F Studio 2. Uh, do I want to continue? Actually, I should have done this, uh, obviously, before I came down here. What I do want to do is I just want to uh, quickly heal up. Uh, just in case that uh, these last few guys, I don't think we'll have any trouble, but just in case the last few guys have some uh, stronger Pokemon, we'll uh, heal up and head back to the tower, and I've gone over the lines when I don't need to. Uh, which is my lowest level? Pseudo Wudo can go to the front. Uh, this is good, okay. So now you. Stop! I'm known as the Team Rocket Fortress. You're not taking another step. Rocket Executive sends out Golbat. Oh, what a great call to put Sudowoodo at the front. Rock Slide takes out one hit. Easy as pie. Sudowoodo gets loads of times. The Fortress came down. You've earned my respect, so here's some advice. It's not too late. You can still turn back. I don't think so. Don't I think Pokemon are cute? I think my Pokemon are cute after they beat yours. Okay, and she's got an Ekans. Strength takes that out. She's got an Oddish. Strength takes out the Oddish. She's got a Gloom. Ooh, Strength takes out uh, Void the Sleep Powder, which is a bit lucky, but nonetheless. And also an Ekans. So that's a really pretty weak team there from that Rocket Grunt. Oh no, that's so useless. I love my beautiful self. Who cares about Pokemon? Harry, why do, why do I have to suffer through this? Meow, help me. Yeah. Okay, so we finally reached Studio One on the fifth floor, and this girl. Hi, little boy. Remember me from the hideout in Mahogany Town? I wore lost then, but I won't this time. Rocket Executive. She's got an Arbok. So I'm gonna go for Rock Slide. Oh, one hit KO with a crit. Easy peasy. What well on Sudo Wudo? And then she's got a Vile Plume. I'm gonna go to Volpix. I want to see some flame throw up. Ah, there we go, Valkyrie is down. And then the Murkrow will go back to Sudowoodo. And Rock Slide once more. There we go, Murkrow is down. Rocket Executive was defeated. This can't be happening. Fought hard, but I still lost. Mark, isn't it? A brat like you won't appreciate the magnificence of Team Rocket. It's too bad. I really admire your power. And then this guy. Oh! You managed to get this far? You must be quite the trainer. We intend to take over this radio station and announce our comeback. I should bring our boss Giovanni back from his solo train. If we're going to regain our former glory, I won't allow you to interfere with our plans. Well, unfortunately for you, that's not a great Pokemon. Well, it's a bit bad good. Sudorudo is a poor Pokemon for him, essentially, because obviously I have type advantage. Um, I'm gonna go to Arbok against Coughing. And I'm gonna go uh, headbutt. This is an okay damage. There we go. Headbutt takes it out, and then he's got a Houndoom. I'm hoping for not a dark attack. Goes for bite or faint me. That's okay. We can go to for alligator, and we can use uh, easy peasy. Houndoom is down. Rocket executive was defeated. No, forgive me, Giovanni. Our dreams have come to naught. I wasn't up to the task after all. Like Giovanni did before me, I will disband Team Rocket here today. Farewell. And here comes the true director. Mark, thank you. Your courageous actions have saved Pokemon nationwide. I know it's not much, but please take this. We get a silver wing. There used to be a tower right here in Goldenrod City, but it was old and creaky, so we replaced it with our radio tower. During the teardown, we found that at the top, I heard that giant Pokemon used to fly over Goldenrod in the past. Maybe that fell off a Pokemon. Maybe like the one that appears at Whirl Islands near Sianwood. Okay, I better go to my office. 
So there we go. We have completed. We have formally forced uh, Team Rocket to disband once more. Oh, you're my little savior. Will you take this as my thanks? We get another pink bow, which, um, as we knew before, is uh, there to uh, increase uh, attacks against, um, so it increases normal type attacks. Thank you. You're my hero. This is a token of my appreciation. We get Sunny Day. It powers up fire attack moves for a while. We have recordings of the crimes that all Pokemon have been found. We must have about 200 kinds. We run 24 hours a day to broadcast entertaining programs. I'll do my best to run around the clock too. Feel free to look around anyway. The director is nice again, just as he was before. Sweet. Okay, so that is that little segment of the game done. And I'm pretty happy with how that is turned out. So, um, now what we're going to do is I'm going to head into... Wait. Let me just check something. Uh, this is Route 35, 37, 38, it's the wrong way, that's okay. Um, what I want to do is I want to just quickly uh, go to a bug contest. Um, uh, the reason I want to do this is just um, because... Um, there is... Uh, we can essentially, we can catch Caterpie here, um, which we can't do otherwise because we're in silver. And... Uh, you can't catch Caterpie in, um, there we go, see, uh, yeah, you can't catch Caterpie, um, outside of, n normally you can't catch Caterpie outside of, like, Pokemon Gold, essentially, um, whereas here we can, and there we go, we catch Caterpie in its new data, the worm Pokemon, its seat has suction cups designed to stick to any surface, tenaciously climbs trees to foliage. We catch Caterpie, um, which gives us the ability to just leave, um, we won't win. Catches a Butterfree. We get a Berry because we came third that time, which is quite interesting. Uh, it'll go into there. We obviously could talk to those people we don't mind. We can get another Ice Berry from this tree here. In fact, we could probably get... Okay. That's there. I'm just going to zip through because we can get um, some Apricorns. Not that I really, you know, bother with it too much, um, just because making that trek all the way back to um, Kurt is annoying. Or at least, well, I say a trek, we could literally fly there. <laughs> so I'm just being lazy, really. Um, anyway, we'll try and find this schoolboy, uh, who obviously challenged us to another battle. But we can also grab here a berry. Um, obviously, we need to get as many berries as possible so that we can... Uh, Heal the mill tank, and maybe we can now. If we can, that would be awesome. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, bills, my PC, uh, withdraw. We want berry, we have five here. Does that mean we have, I bet that means we've only got six. Nope, we have seven. Sweet. Okay, that means that we can go heal the mill, mill tank there and get whatever we get for it. Um, also gives me another reason to head this way, which is nice. Always looking for uh, multiple reasons to go to various places, and obviously we never actually finished. Um, yeah, obviously this is something that we never, you know, completely did. So, uh, she's going to call us if something comes up. I was waiting for you, let's battle to school by Chad, who's got a Mr. Mime. I don't remember you having a Mr. Mine last time. Uh, we'll put him to sleep and then we'll go for some cuts. Ooh, Chad does give us some information about some Pokemon. I don't know which though. And he's got a Magneton. So we use Flamethrower, take it out because obviously Magneton is a steel type. I didn't study enough, I guess, he says. Mom is ringing us, huh? I can't argue. While shopping today, I saw this adorable doll, so I bought it with your money. Sorry, it's in your room. You will love it. So she also buys us other stuff to decorate our room and stuff like that, I guess. We get a mint berry there, but the important thing is... We can now give a merry... We can now give some of these however many berries... I think it, it was seven, I'm pretty sure. And there we go, Motak became healthy. We're feeding Moo Moo. We're feeding Moo Moo. And we can talk here. How'd you like my Moo Moo Milk? It's my pride and joy, so I give it to Pokemon to restore HP. I'll give it to you for just 500 pounds. 
I best go do my milking. And you fixed our milk tank, huh? Now it gives Moo Moo milk again. Here's something for your trouble. Get TM13, which is Snore. It's a rare move that only works while the Pokemon is asleep. You best think how to use it. Hun. Okay, so we get another TM, which is Snore. And now we can fly back to Mahogany Town. And what we're going to do now, I think, is we're going to head out this way. We obviously got a certain way through this, if I remember, because we defeated all these people, and then we reached here for uh, the entrance to Ice Path, and now we're going to try and move into Ice Path, although I've just realised that something I probably want to do beforehand is uh, get some Pokeballs, because uh, I'm pretty sure I have very little. So we're going to go to Olivine, uh, I think Olivine March should have some decent stuff, got Great Balls, uh, Great Balls will be okay. Uh, bit 12. Obviously, Ultra Balls will need probably for like the, the, the best the best Pokemon, certainly if we go and try and uh, catch that big mystical Pokemon in uh, the World Islands, we'll probably need more. But anyway, we're going to now do Ice Path. And hopefully, we should be able to catch some new Pokemon in here, maybe some Ice types. Um, I'm sure there's a reason why it's here, probably because the last gym trainer, if I remember correctly, is Claire. And uh, Claire is a dragon type trainer, and hence they like introducing you to the ice type Pokemon, which is obviously so super effective against dragon types. Uh, just beforehand to give you like some degree of chance. Well, we're getting pretty low encounter rates at the moment, it seems. Um, got an interesting little puzzle here, it seems. So, which one do we need to? So we need to land on that one there. Um, so let's see, uh, I should be able to do this, I think through. That gives us to there. Or we can just do that, Ooh, nearly. Can try and land on that one, can we? So one of those two, but it doesn't look like there's anything, any other rocks adjacent to those, which is the issue. Like if I do that, I just fall straight down. Oh, I get it. So you, we end up um, bashing into the rock here, I think, and then we go down. But that would require me to go horizontal. And the only way we can do that is to there. Well, unless... Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's... Ah, that was going to do it. And then we get blocked here. So this should... Maybe that does it. There we go. Okay, it wasn't too difficult, though. That's the, uh, the first of our various little ice puzzles. And we have our first wild encounter in this area. We find it is a wild swine-up. The uh, ice ground type. And unfortunately, I took it out in one hit. So, uh... Ah, used Endure, you beautiful little thing. Well done. Endure is an attack, um, well, I say it's an attack, it's a move which essentially allows you to uh, withstand one, you survive any attack with one HP, so uh, it's pretty much the perfect attack for stuff like that. Anyway, we catch Swine Up. The pick Pokemon, if it smells something enticing, it dashes headlong off to find the source of the aroma. <laughs> Um, so, we can grab here, we get HM07, uh, which is another HM, interesting, uh, pack. HM07 is Waterfall. Okay, any of our, uh, none of our Pokemon can learn Waterfall, great, okay. Um, that means we might need to uh, adapt our team at some point to use Waterfall, I don't know which areas we're going to need Waterfall specifically for. Anyway. So, we've got Wild Golbat now. Uh, Cat is annoyingly missing. There we go. Okay. Let's have a look. Which do we want to put at the front? 35, 35, 34. Bulb picks at the front just for a bit. Obviously, it should be super effective against a vast amount of uh, the Pokemon around here. 
So we can use strength to move these boulders, it seems. This is the uh, the boulder sprite um, for this generation. Um, okay, so now we're gonna have to get have to get round to that. Okay, this looks pretty complicated actually, Look, just looking at them. Uh, certainly not as simple as it first seems, just because you all... Unfortunately, yes. Ooh, wild deli bird! Never seen a wild deli bird before, and annoyingly of course we take it out. Uh, I s okay, so that's to help us get various items it looks like. Um, we also have wild jinx. And put us to sleep. I'm interested just to see if, like, uh, something. Does Iron Tail take it out? Is the question. Uh, if Volpix can at some point wake up. Iron Tail does take it out, okay. We get a max potion. Um, okay, we'll climb up. So I reckon we're going to have to force all of these various rocks down their respective uh, gaps. Uh, in order to be able to fully complete this little area. So, okay, let's see if we can catch this deli bird this time. Uh, we're gonna go to Blossom. Of course, it flees. Great, we've got a Pokemon that can flee as well. Okay. Let me swap in uh, Blossom, just because obviously Blossom knows uh, sleep. Sleep type, well, a sleep inducing move. We'll move that to there, and hopefully that will should be enough. Now. Let's not mess this one up this time. Um, annoyingly, it's like, you know, I should probably run from these gold back because they're obviously just a nuisance. Uh, okay, so we can move it to there, then we've got to move it up. Then we've got to move it across, and then we've got to move it up. And there we go, the boulder fell through. Sweet. Another deli bird. Okay, let's. Okay, we put it to sleep, and now just cut, take it out. It does not sweet. So now, great ball. We will say because it makes so much more sense to. And there we go. We catch deli bird first time round. The delivery Pokemon. It nests at the edge of sharp cliffs. It spends all day carrying food to its awaiting chicks. And then, okay, so we've got a boulder there. We've got a boulder here. Uh, I have no idea. Absorb will be super effective against uh, Swinub just because uh, Swinub is half ground type. Uh, and what we actually need to do is move it slightly out that way, then move it back. And move it to there, and then we can push that down there. Also allows us to come out here and push that down that hole. So that's three of the boulders. That's the path downwards. We also need to move this boulder here down this hole here. Uh, so, our final Pokemon, of, it looks like what could be um, the final new Pokemon in this area is Jinx. Um, you know, although it looks like Jinx could be problematic to try and uh, capture. We can absorb to uh, get rid of these swine up. Okay. So, I reckon we need to move it there. Ah, oh, I don't know yourself in confusion. Come on, Blossom. There we go. Well done. We can move it. Nope. Oh, I didn't want to do that. That's annoying. These swine up are pretty fast. Oh, my Blossom is very slow. I can't work out which. Anyway, we'll fall down. Um, just so it makes everything a lot simpler. Go away, Golbat! As you can see, Golbat are the most annoying at the moment, just in this little area, just because, uh, yeah, their typing is, uh, not great for Blossom, and we're just keeping Blossom in just because obviously Blossom can use the sleep type moves that are so useful. It endures again, that's okay. You can use Endure. Essentially, Endure um, becomes less and less likely to work um, as, as you use it. So first time it's like, I don't know if I remember it, exactly what percentage chance it is to, to work, but it works a lot. 
it's much more successful the first time you use it rather than that. Anyway, this is what I meant to do first time, and now we can just push this along to here. The boulder fell through, and now we can go and uh, drop down into the next area of this massive cave. And I really need to stop hurting myself in confusion. Come on, Belossum. There we go. Cool. So now we can drop down here, and we can see where I think we're going to be going. So we can hit that rock there, then we can move down to this one. We should probably check the four corners just to see if there's anything around here. And that will be something hidden. Nope. Okay, so that looks like that. So we want to hit that, then we want to go down, hit this, cross, hit that, and there we go. So that allows us to get to the final stage. We still haven't caught Jinx, so obviously, but uh, we are encountering them at a pretty, you know, not the fastest rate, but we are um, nonetheless still encountering them, which is pretty good. And there we go. Just as I say that, we encounter another Jinx. Um, we use Absorb. And obviously it uses Lovely Kiss because it's been really annoying. Um, <coughs> we will use... I'm sure I have a full heal. Uh, just because it'll be far more useful if we just do that. And then we use Absorb. Absorb again, shouldn't knock it out. There we go, good. And then, Great Ball. Okay, let's catch ourselves a Jinx. These are usually pretty difficult to catch, and we'll just give it another go. Stop waking up so fast, Jinx. It'd be very appreciated. And this is being really annoying. There we go, so we catch Jinx. The human shape Pokemon. It speaks a language similar to that of humans, however, it seems to use dancing to communicate. Jinx. Okay, so we can get and the Never Melt Ice, which I believe um, increases the power of ice attacks. Um, similar to like the pink bow for normal attacks and various other things. Anyway, we can exit here, we can come down. Okay, so how do we get to that? Is the question. I guess what we need to do is. Yes, yeah, so that just gets you trapped, so there's no point in going that way. You need to choose the right spot, I guess. And I have. Okay, well, I chose the right spot. There we get TM44, which is. I'm at the wrong spot. Okay, TM44, which is rest. Um, that not particularly specialist uh, move that allows you to uh, regenerate all your health at the cost of having to... Uh, you get all your health, but you have to fall asleep for uh, an unspecified number of turn, ter turns. Let's see if I can start talking. Okay, um, let's make our way around here. So we can go up here, but we can also potentially go down. Um, I'm tempted to do the down route first, just to see what's down here. I was correct to do so. There's an iron down here, but there aren't too many items. Is there anything we can use? We'll just get rid of. I can. I should probably just like. I'll give like. There we go. Bitter berry. We can give that to Arbok, let's say. Pick up the iron. There's no point in, you know, not taking items when they're given to you. And we can continue our way forwards through this long, complicated cave. There's another peep. There's a PP up there. Um, so, what else? I could give the amulet coin to Volpix. We get a PP out, although I doubt, you know, money is very rarely a, an issue in these games. So anyway, we have finally exited the ice path. We have reached the end. Sorry for zipping through the end of that bit a bit. Wow, you came through the ice path? You must be a real hotshot trainer. Yes, I am. So we've arrived in Blackthorn City, a quiet mountain retreat. Um, Dragonair is cute, but I don't have it. Do you have Dragonair? I want to trade it for my Rhydon. 
So we want Dragonair for Ride on Trade. Um, which you might expect in a town like this, because obviously it's full of a. Uh, well, uh, it's known for having a dragon type gym. Anyway, are you going to make your Pokemon forget some moves? Okay, so it looks like there might be like a move deleter here. Uh, a Pokemon holding a Miracle Berry will cure itself of any status problem. We'll just quickly uh, go around here. So, yeah, so we've got the move deleter here. Um, oh, oh, yes, I'm the move deleter. I can make Pokemon forget moves. Shall I make a Pokemon forget? We might do that before, like, the Elite Four, or certainly before, like, the final set of battles, but we don't need to do it particularly here. Mountain Road is ahead, so that's the way out. We've got the Pokemon Mart, and we can have some chats in here. You can't buy Max Revive, but it fully restores a fainted Pokemon. Beware, it won't restore PP, the power points needed for moves. Max Repel keeps a weak Pokemon away from you. It's the longest lasting of the Repel Sprites. Let's we'll see, we can finally buy some Ultra Balls. So I want to buy a good 15 of them. We can also go into the... Anyway, ooh, voices in my head. Hmm, I listen to my radio. We can also go to the Pokemon Center. Anyway. There was this move I just had to teach my Pokemon, so I got the move leader to make it forget an HM move. Deep inside, far off Indigo Plateau is the Pokemon League. I hear the best trainers gather there from around the country. Wow, you and your Pokemon are really close. Cheers. Uh, heal up. And what else do we have? We've got Blackthorn City. So, okay, so we've gone around a full circle. And uh, that was the person we wanted to trade. We've got the Pokemon center there. We'll start making our way up, because uh, we'll see what's at the top here. Claire and Lance trained here to hone their skills as trainers. Dratini. Ah! Ah, oh, Dratini attitude. We can make our way north, and we have here... I'm going to be a dragon user, like Claire. So it's even more hints as to which type of Pokemon. We can always go up here and see what this person has to say. Dragon's Den ahead. Only dragon users are permitted to train here. Please leave. The wild Magikarp in the water, so nothing, uh, nothing too exciting. I'm assuming just a Magikarp. See so Magikarp evolve into Gyarados, which are essentially, you know, whilst they're not dragon types, they look enough like dragons that a lot of, you know, trainers will use them. Anyway, Black Form City Pokemon Gym Leader Claire, the blessed user of dragon Pokemon. Our gym leader is waiting for you. However, it would be impossible for a run-of-the-mill trainer to win. It's a good thing we're not a run-of-the-mill trainer, then. And finally, we'll talk to this guy. Santos. It's Saturday. I'm Santos of Saturday. You can have this. We get the spell tag. Our item box is full. So, we'll quickly go to the mart. And can we sell some stuff? We can sell this iron. Uh, we can sell... We can certainly, we, we can put a lot of this stuff sort of away as well, um, yeah, but obviously we only need to sort of remove one thing, um, we'll go quickly go back to talk to Santos, obviously another one of these uh, people who only appear on a certain day. We get the spell tag, spell tag, ghost type moves get stronger, it will frighten you. Anyway, and we also have Anthony the Hiker ringing us, which will probably be the end of the episode here. It's me, Anthony. Isn't it nice that when a battle is not going to be a repeat of the last time we met? I'll be around Route 33. See you later. Okay. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of my playthrough of Pokemon Silver. In the next episode, we're going to take on the gym at Blackthorn City. And then we're probably going to see where our path takes us next. Um, but it looks like with a, we're looking towards getting... Sorry, we're very close to getting our 8th badge, and we know what that's going to lead on to. Lead on to the Elite Four. And everything that comes with it. So, it's getting close to the end of this um, section of the uh, of the playthrough. I hope you've enjoyed it, and uh, I hope you'll join me on the next one.